so again i want to teach you the second stage and this second video how it will will be yeah let me teach you how to use the the tools that I remained the tools that i did not explain so i'll try to be quickly yeah so let me teach you let me teach you how to use the tools that are remaining that i didn't teach you so while I'm, right now i'm just going to open pixel lab and that what we're working on is this i want you to learn how to use these tools you'll find these tools the tools that are um, when you open pixel lab, we have this kind of tools these are the tools that we have in pixel lab. so that i did not explain so i want you to get each and every two how it works so yeah let's get let's jump into pixel lab remember to subscribe and you can check for the links in the description you find many links and you click on the link that you like we have many designs that we have done so far you can check out for the links in the description below so guys <clears throat> let me open pixel up so here's my pixel up and i'm going to open my pixel up if you don't have pixel up you can download this pixel up on google play store it is free of charge about 37 mb so let me jump to, into it without wasting much of your time so this is my pixel lab and uh currently i did this so when you open you're going to find this because um i was editing something and i left this so this is where we so when you open pixel lab and we have these tools that i want to explain i want to explain these tools I want to explain these tools that are below here these are the tools i want to explain these tools so these tools i want to explain each and every tool i want you to get each and every tool how it works in the previous video we i explained how to use all these tools that are on top now i want to deal with tools that are down since we're if you haven't watched the video you can check out for the playlist in the description yeah the play the playlist is in the description yeah we have a playlist for how to use um pixel up for beginners so right now i'll start with the first two which one is the first two okay the first two is um these two right here is the first two and i want to explain how it works um we said that um this one is used for reset and default how is it possible is it true this one is used for default okay let's do this let me clear this let me clear this okay let me clear this let me try and clear this thing sorry I want you to get an each and everything so let me do this and uh, let me put the the photo you know these tools tools that are on top that i'm using now we how to use them so right now let me import this one okay so we'll start with this tool these two is it true that it is used for this true this two here is it true that it is used for here here it says that um here it says that um how does this two work this is a default to or reset to it is used to reset is it possible it is used for reset so we have to prove this if it is used for reset so i want to prove this if it is it usually mean so is it does this tool is this tool used for reset or 
is it a default too? So there is only one way to prove that. Okay, this too, yeah, it is used for default. So for example, you have this thing, your project here on your Canva. You can see that there is a project here. So you find that this is your project and you want to reset each and all, you want to reset everything that is on, on your screen. So, and you have this tool right here. It says that this tool it is used for reset. So, we want to reset each and everything. And when you tap on it, when you tap on this tool, you'll find that we have many, you'll find that these are some options. There's this default thing, thing with a different, each, each word with a different um, background. The default with this color background which is which comes with pixel lab this thing comes with pixel lab and here you find yourself the projects so <clears throat> how does this work so let's start with um so we'll start with um let's start with um saved project what is saved project we're talking about this one what is saved project so served project is where you will find the project what that you were doing that you have saved how oh, okay it's not making sense let me show you imagine you want to save this text this design which design we're talking about um this thing the entire thing you want to save this so uh, no not in form of a photo but in form of a project so what we do you remember last time in our previous video we discussed how to save which is this option and when you tap on it you find that there are on there are two options you find the save as a project save as image so as, when you tap on the first option save as a project you'll find that if you save this thing it will save the way it is it is a project it's not in form of a photo but in form of plp pixel lab file project so what i mean is when i tap on it save as project so i will name this project as my plp this is my project name you can name you can put any name any name of your cho choice so my plp plp project okay saving done and the question is where am i going to find the 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 saved project is it in my phone gallery or right here on pixel lab the answer is right here on pixel lab oh so what you have to do you're not supposed to use these tools that are on top to find your your project there there is a simple way what you have to do is you can tap on this layer when you tap on this it will bring you to this screen when it brings you to this screen you also need to to tap here here you'll find the saved project how so imagine this thing i delete this thing so right now what i'll do is i'll tap on this thing and i'll find plt as you can see this is my plp project what what i'm supposed to do right now is I just have to tap on it let me tap on my plp project confirmation are you sure you want to open the project and progress will be lost so what they mean is if there is any design on my canva it will be lost so when i click ok as you can see what i did it has come back my project again there are so many projects that i did when i tap on this one it will bring this one when i tap on this one it will bring this one when i tap on this one it will bring on this one 
so this is what we do this is what this option is used for so this one it has this project it has default theme theme keep calm this background if you want you can use them the friction so when you try to tap on double tap on it you see that when you write your word let's say you are john you want to add your name john sorry you find that if you are john you find that your name will also have reflection why because the background and everything it is called reflection so when you take the background whatever it is written when you ed try to edit it to translate into into the same thing the same background but if you want to clear all this thing uh you want to reset all this thing you have to come on the first one the first uh, the first uh, option you this is the default you tap on it are you sure you want to open the project any progress will be lost okay you see you have resetted meaning the first one the first option it said um this is the default to reset to we have resetted if you want thin you see we are resetting yeah so guys this is how this tool works so right now i'm done explaining this tool so let's jump to the next tool how does the next tool work which tool we're talking about which is the this tool this tool we say it says here it says here that how does this tool work this is the text tool which is used to edit the text okay let me reset this thing we are here we are here we are here you find text quotes this is the only option you will find if you haven't written anything so let me come back to the first or two and set default and come back to the to the second two which is a which is used to edge the text so how does the text work let me delete this when you come to the text you find the all quotes on the quotes you find that there are so many quotes that come with pixel up we try to say to use to insert who six shall find when you tap on this who six shall find you find that it has changed when you tap on the background you find that you haven't selected it so when you tap on the text meaning you have selected it when you tap on the background you're unselected all right so what you have to do is when you start coming here you find edit delete copy copy meaning you duplicate front we discussed this to back in the previous video we discussed how to use to back to to front position you want to position this you don't want to use your hand you can use your hand you drag in this text all the all the way here or you can use this thing position if you think it's moving too slow you can increase you slide okay there's even relative position we discussed this guys in the previous video check for the link in the description you see it is centered horizontal centered vertical you can bring it here bring it here down here up there kick down when you're done you find resize we discuss this you can resize this thing or if you don't know how to use to resize to use this option you can come to this corner and start resizing this which corner are we talking about we're talking about this corner so you come on this corner when you tap on this corner you find that you're resizing resize all right padding what's padding you can come to padding this thing for for now it's okay if you don't know this option you lane you understand it properly color you can change the color we discussed this guys in our previous video you can check for the link in the description you find the colors if you find that the colors that the color that you want is not here you can tap on this plus and use choose the color on the palette click okay you can come to gradient you find many colors here you can tap on the color if you find that the gradient that you're looking for is not here you can tap on it 
and you choose um here you come here here i want to be black and here to be white for instance so i want here to be white and i want to choose this gradient and maybe this is not the gradient you want so how do you how are you supposed to use it okay so what you have to do is um you should come here you tap on the first one it's changing the second third fourth fifth and uh sorry sixth you see when you click okay you see the the color of the text so this is how the gradient works all right so the color when we come to texture meaning you want to put the text inside or the sh the photo inside the text the image inside the text when you are in photoshop this means um creeping box mask when you want to put the the photo inside the text so what you do is you tap on it you tap on the photo there symbol and you come to your phone gallery you, co you come to this three button you scroll you find that my gallery is here so let me choose my any photo that i want i'll come to my background that i downloaded and i want to put this thing in my background so tap on it so this is the photo that i want to be inside my text so i'll click okay you find that the photo is inside the background yeah opacity how does opacity work opacity you, you want to reduce the opacity of the image you, you want it to be clear or you just it this is the opposite how it works rotate you want to rotate this at any angle of your choice mask for now you will skip this ball this option because it is complicated for a beginner so you learn this option in the next video all right um we'll come to the to font the font when you open pixelab you find that there is this font these are the basic font that you find in pixelab these are the only fonts that comes with pixelab so when you try and choose the font that you want to use these are the fonts and uh my fonts these are the fonts that i downloaded so i'll show you how to download this this um uh, these fonts how you can check for the link in the description you can join my telegram instagram or whatsapp group follow me on whatsapp leave me a message on whatsapp i'll show i'll teach you how to import the font personally because uh, there is no video on youtube so you can follow me on you what's this whatsapp join my group and i'll teach you or inbox me direct on whatsapp i'll teach you how to import fonts so when you come to fonts these are the fonts that comes with pixelab my font recent the recent font that i used these are the recent fonts that i used so you'll find that if i choose the this one board you find that it is changing just changed i choose this one just changed if i choose this one it is changing i use let me try a script font you try script font it has changed so this is how it works so it is changing so when we come to b where it says style how does style work style is used if you want to to make this thing bold so when you tap on B, meaning board, this angle I script, you underline, you want to underline your text, as you can see it is underlined. And um, if you want to cancel this, you have to cancel to come to T. So this is how it works. If you want to underline who, you just come down here, you choose the letter that you want to underline. This only letter come okay all right so cave 
when you want to curve the letter so you can curve this you can curve this you can uncurve this you can curve this you can uncurve this you can curve this you can uncurve this and you click okay this is how it works the background you want your text to have a background you choose the color you know how to choose the color to pick the color and click ok or if you don't want the background you just disable this click done all right let me set this align when you want to align how does your text how do you want your text when imagine it is like this and you want to align this when you come to the first one it will be like this the third one and the fourth it will be like this and you click done justify you want to justify your text how do you want to justify your text this is how you want to justify your text where be like this everything to be equal justify like this spacing you want to be to have the text to have spaces you can come ea spacing up to positive 100 up to negative 30 click ok align if you want to align spa line spacing the text which is under you go down come back this 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 if you can see this is how it works we come to stroke imagine you want to put uh, something you tap on enable and you choose the color let's say a black and you come to stroke with it and you find that you want 20 you see the color which is um, more like the borderline it is changing to black if you want a gradient stroke black so this is how depending on you want to want one two you got one stroke which is to be up to 25 maybe this is how it looks like after you're done you click ok inner shadow what is inner shadow you want to put the color inside the text so o6 shall find you want to put the color so you choose the color blue and you choose the blur regis to maybe six you see what's happening inside start changing off the text start moving You can see what is happening. Alright, we pass. We come to emboss. Emboss, when you enable it, you find that there is line angle. You can see the angles. And you can see what is happening into the text. So when you come to the first one, you find there is, um, it is written intensity. The second, ambient light. The third, specular hardness. And the fourth, bevel. In short, bevel. So how do you how does this work so when you come to babel you find that when you try to put it to all the way to android so what is happening to the text try to put it to all the way to one so imagine we increase everything so bevel android specular hardness to 100 ambient light 100 intensity 100 you see what is happening to the to the text and you try to change the angle See what is happening to the text try to change the angle so this is what emboss do does okay let's try embo before to one okay this before to one see what is happening okay before here here we bring it to here here we bring it here here we bring it here let's see what happens to the text so this is how it works this is how Bebo works click done we come to perspective for this perspective and able it you want to change you come here you see what i'm doing more like you want to wrap your text you come here you come here you come here this is how perspective works Right.
3D rotate. You want to rotate your text how a x axis zero. Maybe you want to negative. Maybe positive 40. You see what is happening to the text. This is how it works. Uh, y axis. You see what is happening to the text. All right. We come to 3D text. You want to do the 3D and able it. There are on there are two options: base perspective and oblique. Oblique. So how does perspective work? So when you come here, you find that there is perspective, and you come here, there's deep, deeper to deep to seven. So imagine you you leave it the way at uh, 20. You can see how deep it is going. So you see the color here. You choose the color of your choice. Maybe yellow. Darken, maybe somewhere to somewhere at 33, yeah. And then try to rotate X, rotate. You f you want to see how deep it is. You see how deep it is. So when you come back to deep path, you find you see how how deep it is going. How deep it is going. Rotating right. So how dark and it is going, you can see. See what is happening to the text. All right. Why rotate? You see how deep it, it has gone. Z is rotate. How deep it has gone. You can see all angles. Simulating light. When you disable this, you can see the difference. And able. You can see the difference. All right, I'm done here. So let me explain oblique. Oblique. This one is totally different from perspective, because when you see the dip is somewhere 15, and the color you've chosen yellow, the dark end 15. Oblique. This one it has a angle. So when trying to use the oblique angle, you can see you don't need the x rotate, y rotate. You find that there is this. The angle is the best, so I think oblique is the best because you'll be rotating your own of your everything of your choice. Leave it at zero, so you can see what is happening to the text. You can rotate this. You come down here, you find simulating light. When you're not unable to see the difference, you find you see the difference. Disable, unable, disable. Click done. You come to 3D shadow. You want the shadow for your 3D. You unable. You find the shadow. Okay, the shadow you cannot see it. Let me try and just the tip. Have you seen the shadow? 3D shadow. The color. You change the color. There is the shadow. Mostly we don't use this. The shadow you can see. That's the shadow. Click done. You come to reflection. You want the re your text to be reflected. When you unable it, you see the reflection. The reflection of your text. You've seen it. Click done. You can see the reflection. All right. So I've explained how this tool works. How this works. Okay. Now let's try to come to the second one so we come to the first one we reset this yeah we come to the second one we delete this yeah we come here oh sorry we come to the first one again we come to project plp done we come to the third one how does this tool work this is used for importing images shapes drawing arrows and stickers so that which one one two three the third one so what are we importing? The stickers, yes, we found them. Import images, draw shapes, there's your arrows, yes, we found everything. So it's come to stickers. You find that there are stickers here that comes with Pixel Lab. Here are the stickers. Emojis. You find these emojis. That's it. When you tap on this emoji, click OK. You resize this emoji. Ow. Look, when it's like this, nothing happens. When you tap on the emoji, you find that there is delete copy. Back creative position color opacity same thing mask erase how to erase you enable you want to erase what you want to erase the white so 
shadow perspective in a shadow embossed you know how to use this guys we have explained we have explained yeah so one and the same thing send this try to rotate see the difference yeah in a shadow you know when you enable it you put blue this you can see all right thank you you we delayed we come to import meaning we're importing the photo so when i come to my phone's gallery i'll find many photos later i want to import this one let me import this one the scale and we done you can see i've imported this scale yeah she's in my project now when i tap on it on ah uh, you find that uh, it's a lot you can come to color filters what does color filters do you find u h u e you change the color you can to come saturation brightness contrast that's it guys click done yeah all right well, what does draw do you come to draw okay choose the pen size i want it to be 20 smooth at um, 9 all right you choose the color to yellow you draw you write what you want to write if it's a signature you want to write you, you sign all right if you have made a mistake you come here you come here you erase or you come to the the, the first one you and un, you undo or the, the the one which is in between you remove everything you click done shapes you want to enable the shape you want to put the shapes so you find this this shape is uh, this shape or oh, this is um what's this square shape or well, you can come to this spot you find main shapes here in here so what you do is tap on it you find many shapes circle these arrow these shapes you tap on this shape you can change the color of the shape you come to strokes you change you can, if you want when you come to strokes you can change the color of the stroke all right yeah you know how to use the front to back the front to back the front to back to front to back or when we are in the front to back to front to back and you can see when you tap on here how you remember we used to we explained this the layer too so when you tap on it and you have, you have tapped on this one you can come to to front to back to front you can see what is happening to the layers to front to back or imagine if you want to to close each and every layer when you tap on it nothing happens you can come here to the layer and you see there is a lock here you close when you lock this thing you lock or you tap it nothing nothing this text can't move make sure when you the finger okay this is the final touch you lock everything when you lock when you tap on it you can make any mistake so you can see if you want to tap on you want to tap on this this thing tutorial by thumbnail which is behind the this omen what you have to do is come to the layer here you tap on it from the layer you can see and then you start moving it if you tap it from the screen nothing will happen because why it is locked but when you unlock you can tap it from the screen you can see all right we come to bases for now we'll skip this one but we'll leave it for the next video all right you come to arrow you want to insert the arrow you can see the arrow you want to insert it you can see the size mm -hmm. so you can see okay begin arrow you want it to have this imagine the arrow is just like this so we come begin arrow size you want it to have this thing far in even this one to have this thing the point in the opacity you can the strokes you can see or you zero you put the strokes the opposite of the stroke hundred 
or you disable it, you enable it, the color of the stroke, or oh, sorry, the color of the stroke here, the color of the arrow, you can choose here. Yeah, after that, you can see the type of arrow you want, for the far end to be like this, to be like this, here to be like this. You can choose, guys. Okay, to be like this, here to be like this, okay, to be like this, here to be like this. You can choose the type of arrow you want, the size to be like this, to be like this, click down. You can see this is the arrow that we have made. All right, I've explain, explained how this works. All right, let me come to the face option, default. All right, let me come to my project. All right, we go to the fourth. How does this tool work? This is used for change to change the background and resize the background. How? When you come to the one, two, three, four, the fourth one, you find that how color you find the color. You can come to gradient to two. The color of the background it is changing you can come here you choose the type of background you want okay for me i want this background it is your your background that you want okay here i just put uh, i'll just put this thing okay this is the type of background that i want you can see or you can come, you want the transparent one. Image size, we talked about this. You want the image custom. The customize you put here. Your ratios, okay, I want it to be 1000. Here. 1000, you click done. With this background, okay. You can come to color here. You choose the color good done also you can come to crop you want to crop imagine imagine like when you come to image you find these are some images that come with pixel up you can choose this image this 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 okay for example if choosing this click done and you come to crop you can crop this you come here if you think uh, you are not cropping the way you want it you can come to this far end here so what you do right now is um you can choose the type of crop you you find that it's the lock here which has locked the crop so you sh what you have to do is um you tap on the lock now it's free size you can crop the, the type of ratio that you want take done all right this is the background that i want or you can come to image size and you tap on the custom here you find there is a square Profile picture, YouTube banner, YouTube thumbnail, Facebook ads, clicks, Twitter, it. okay, you want a YouTube banner. Okay, done. This is the banner, the ratio, or you can find the YouTube uh, thumbnail. This is it. Image size. All right. You can come to, from gallery, you choose the background from the back, from the gallery. So I'll come to my phone's gallery. Choose the background. Let me choose the background that I'm that I want. Okay, for instance, I want this background. All right, how do I want? So I'll disable the lock and use a free background. Done. You can see my background. This is my background, guys. All right, from camera, or I can just capture something using my camera and use it as my background. So, for example, I capture this. All right so i can use this thing as well okay so this is my background i can use this thing as my background all right i think we are done here okay let me return this so imagine how this background we said the last layer it is used for color editing the background how when you come here you find adjusting tools you find the rotate you want to rotate the background you, you can see i'm rotating it all right you find the vignette so vintage how does it feel more like it's vintage so you find that when you change the color you reduce increase or you can come here to the color palette you choose the color that you want to increase decrease the color you want to increase decrease you find now it's decreasing increasing you can see how how this works if you want a black you choose black you can see Decrease increasing. You come to noise, you enable it, you 
how far you can see what is happening to, to my background imagine this is happening to my background not the photo which is on top but the background the stripes are on the stripes okay brightness okay brightness reduce increase all right let me disable this so what i'm doing okay so we come to contrast you can see the contrast how it's changing all right we come to hue you can see the color is changing on my background all right saturation you can see how it does how this works all right so this is how these tools works guys yeah this is how the tool works this is pixel up guys very simple you i hope and hopefully and understand you understand how pixel up works thank you guys for watching and thank you for tuning in so remember you can check for the links in the description and you choose the video of your choice or yeah just visit the channel itself you find many videos playlists we have many playlists to choose the playlist of your choice all right guys thank you for watching remember to subscribe stay blessed